come now, amen. You told us in your word, God, to come boldly before the throne of grace. We'll find help in the time of need. Hallelujah. God, we come before you this morning, God. We ask you, help us. Hallelujah. Oh, God, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Hallelujah, God. Let your glory be revealed, oh, God. Oh, God, as we enter into these gates with thanksgiving and this court with praise, God, we come to worship you in the beauty of holiness, oh, God. Oh, God, live in us, oh, God. Oh, God, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, oh, God. Oh, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come, oh, God. God, we'll praise you. We'll magnify you. We'll give you the glory in the midst of adversity, oh, God. Oh, God, we trust you in all of our hearts. We lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, we acknowledge you, God. God, that you will direct our path. Have your way in our lives, oh, God. Oh, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. God, we thank you this morning, oh, God. We ask that you would move by your spirit and on your glory. We invite you into this place this morning, oh God. Have your way, God. Move by your spirit and anoint for your glory, oh God. Go into every home today, oh God. Somebody believe you to be a healing today. Every hospital room, every ICU unit, God. Somebody believe you to be a healer today. Move by your spirit and anoint for your glory. We loose your word, God. That your word will have three cords. Oh, God, heal, deliver, set free today, oh God. God, we thank you today because we are healed, oh God. We are healed by your stripes, oh God. And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, God. Because we stand on your word, oh God. We thank you today, oh God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your outstretched hand. Have your way today, God. Send your word today, oh God. Anoint the man of God today, oh God. Let him preach like he never preached before, oh God. Oh God, continue to bless our pastor and first lady, oh God. All of our bishops, oh God. In the name of Jesus, lead them, guide them in the way you would have them to go. God, we will praise your name. We stand on your word today, oh God. Help us to trust you, God, when we can't trace you, oh God. Help us to trust you, God, when we don't feel you, oh God. Help us to trust you, God, when we can't see our way. We thank you for your word. Because your word said it, we trust you with all of our heart. And lean not to our understanding. You will direct our paths. We thank you today, oh God. We trust you for everything that you're doing in our life. We trust you in the offshot, in the bad, and we trust you in the good, oh God. Thank you now. I thank you today. Thank you for every person under the sound of my voice. Bless them today. In the offshot, Holy Ghost, have your way. And God, we will praise and magnify your name. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, God. God, as we travel through this pandemic, oh God. Keep us in the center of your will. Cover us. We come against every sickness and disease. Say to the Lord, rebuke you now. We thank you now. Because we are healed. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost now. Have your way in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. One verse. Amen for Mark the ninth chapter. One verse for Mark the ninth chapter. Amen. Verse 23. Amen. It said, And Jesus, amen, said unto him, If thou canst believe it, all things are possible to them that believe. Amen. Look at your name and ask, Do you believe that Jesus Christ can do anything? But fail. I'm a witness. He can. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Millions didn't make it. But I was one of the ones who humbly did. Millions didn't make it. But God Millions didn't make it, huh? Shut up, But we were one of the ones who did. 
senior pastor. Amen. Thank God for our pastor and first lady. Come on, let's appreciate God for them. Amen. To the elders on the roster, to the deacons, the mothers of Zion, to the missionaries, and to our first lady emerita, Mother Leona Rogers. Let's say amen. At this time, we would like to acknowledge our visitors. Do we have any visitors who are visiting with us? Thank you, Jesus, this morning. Any visitors? Well, we are all members at home. And again, we extend a hearty welcome and greeting to the, those of you in our virtual audience who are listening, amen, wherever you may reside. It's January. It's January, the first month of the year, the, amen, the second Sunday in 2022. Amen. Let's say amen. amen. 
Sunday, January the 30th, 2022 at 11 a.m. 5th Sunday, Women in Worship. 5th Sunday, Women in Worship. The theme is Women of Purpose. Foundational scripture chapter is Proverbs 31. Talking about the Proverbs 31 woman. And our colors for that Sunday are black, brown, and cream, or off-white in any combination. Black, brown, cream, or off-white in any combination. These have been your GNB announcements and directives. Please govern yourselves accordingly. And from the words of our prayer warrior for the Church of God is in Christ, if we do what is right, God will do what is necessary, and I add, be not weary and well doing in 2022. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise in the house. Come on, let there be praises in the house today. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad therein. Amen. What a wonderful day to come out and give God some praise. Somebody say, why you say that, Pastor, it may be raining on the outside. Listen, anytime the Lord touch us and allow us to wake up, get up out of our bed, amen, this is the day. That's the reason why I say that. This is the day that he has made, amen, and I will rejoice, amen, and I give him thanks and praise on today, amen. God bless you again. Amen. We are so happy, so excited to see you on this day. Amen. Again, come on, thank God for our virtual viewers. Amen. Ready to buy the way. Amen. The house has already been addressed. Amen. But certainly, again, we thank God for all these great men and great women of God. Amen. That are here. Amen. Amen. To each and every one of you that grace this house on this morning. Amen. I don't know about you, but I come expecting yes, God to do something great in my life. Yes. How many of you need a word from him on today? Yes. How many of you truly need a blessing from the Lord? I come with great expectation, amen, that God is going to do it. Yes, if I need a healing, he's in the house today. If I need deliverance, he's in the house today. If I need a miracle, He's in the house on today. Tell somebody whatever you need, God's got it. God's got it. I'm excited, amen, about this year. Amen. How God, what I believe God is getting ready to do. Amen. I want to admonish you, when you come, expect God to do it. I just believe God is going to renew some things in 2022, amen, that we need renewing in our health, in our finances, in relationship, on our jobs, amen, amen. That's our thing. Look for God to renew in 22. Come on, look at somebody and tell them, look for God to renew in 22. Amen. We're going to hold on to that. Amen. You're going to be hearing more about that this year. Look for God to renew this year. Whatever it is, amen, that you may have given up on, I dare you to take another look. I dare you to take another hope. Amen. And expect God to do a turn. Tell somebody he's going to turn it around. He's going to turn it around. Mm-hmm. Amen. All those things that been weighing. Amen. I'm looking for God to move in a great way. Amen. God bless you on today. Amen. We're just praising him and giving him all the glory and all the honor. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We thank God for all your prayers. Amen. That you prayed. Amen. For the family. Amen. As we eulogize. Amen. One of our own. Amen. On yesterday, Sister Irma. Amen. Johnson. Amen. We ask you to continue to pray for that family. Amen. They have need of our prayers. Amen. Amen. A young mother. Amen. We say young. Six years young. Amen. Left two children. Amen. Grandchildren there. Amen. And a great grandchild. Amen. They need our prayers on this morning. Amen. Lift up that family. Amen. On today. Amen. We thank God for them. 
She said, Pastor Rogers, amen. My mama shared, amen, every Sunday. And she said, I'm going to continue to stay in touch, amen, with the Greater New Bible Way Church. Can we thank God for that? Amen. So we thank God for them staying in touch. Listen, amen. How many are ready for a word from the Lord? I'm so excited, amen. Several reasons why I'm excited on this morning, amen. Because the one that is getting ready, amen, to come and minister to our hearts on this morning, amen. First of all, I thank God that he's my brother. Amen, amen, amen. He's my black brother. Amen. And I thank God. Amen. I am not one of those, amen, that have a jealous bone in my body. I thank God for the love that our parents, amen, instilled in us, amen, to be happy one for another. Y'all ain't hearing me this morning. Amen. Because listen, the devil thought he was going to destroy something. He said we weren't going to make it, amen, when my father went on to be with the Lord. Amen, but look at us now. Amen, look at us now. We're still together. I come to shame the devil in this house on this morning. Amen. You said we could, but God said we could. Amen. Not only that, amen, he is a great young man of God. Amen. God has truly favored him. Amen. Both spiritually as well as naturally. Don't you know I'm excited about that as well? Amen. I'm excited. Amen. Amen. We haven't heard from him in some time. Amen. He's been through, amen, some challenges. Amen. But I thank God, amen, he is free today. I said he's free today. Amen. You may, maybe I didn't know it, amen, didn't see it, amen, but he's dealt with some things. Amen. But I thank God. He's free today. Amen. And he's running. Amen. I'm not going to give his testimony. Amen. Maybe he'll give a little bit of that. Amen. But I thank God. Amen. For elevation in his life. Amen. And he's running to tell a dying world. Amen. That Jesus saved. After we have heard from this wonderful praise team. Amen. Have we not been enjoying them bringing the Bible with saints and friends? After they have sung, amen, in our hearts on today, once again, the next voice we'll be hearing is that none other than our Sunday school superintendent, amen, my brother, amen, the elder Thaddeus Boo Creek Rogers. I thank God not only for him, but his family, amen. Amen. All five of his children and his wife. Come on, thank God for them. Amen. I started out, amen, but he has surpassed me. Amen. And I ain't mad about it. Amen. God is just good like this. I see you laughing. Amen. God is good. Amen. Anyhow, come on, let's say amen for the praise team at this time. Let's get up. Can we say amen for him? 
Amen. Can we say amen for his wife? Amen. Lady Dora, amen. Amen. Our first lady, amen. To our assistant pastor, amen. To all the elders, to our chairman of our deacon board, to our head church mother, amen. Our head missionary in her absence, amen. And even, amen, uh, to our first lady emeritus, amen. My own dear mother, amen. And to our, even to our uh, district missionary, my own sister, amen. Amen. Come on, give her a little bit. Amen. We want to make sure, amen, we spread the love. Amen. Amen. Want to encourage her. Be encouraged on this new walk. Amen. Amen. She's treading new ground. I don't care how long you've been in the church. Amen. Amen. God calls you to new levels. Amen. Amen. And you don't know what's waiting on that next level. Amen. It's, it's fun. Amen. It's great at the beginning, but amen, the devil is not happy about it. So certainly, amen, we just thank God for all of you. Would you just look around and just give somebody a good smile through that mask? Don't take it down, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. There's so many wonderful things about Jesus. There's so many wonderful things about him. Amen, amen. His name is what? Wonderful. Call him counselor. They call him the mighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Amen. And that that they ended up again, and they said there's just so many wonderful things about Him, Amen, Amen. Certainly, Amen. I, last but not least, I want to give honor to my own wife, Amen, and to my own children, Amen. So thankful, so thankful, Amen, to God. Amen. For them. Amen. He is blessing us right now. Amen. And I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. <clears throat> amen. And although today is January 9th, amen, uh, this ninth day of January 2022, the second Sunday of the month, amen, amen, would you allow me to still wish everybody a happy new year? We only just nine days in, just 2.4%. Amen. Of the year been used, we still got a heaping 97.6% left. Amen. So uh, anything else that's nine days old is still new, right? The car is still new. The baby is still a newborn. Amen. Amen. So this year is yet a new year. So happy new year to you. Amen. And why do I say that? I just want to tell everybody, congratulations on surviving the worst season of your life. Not only of your life, congratulations on surviving the worst season that will probably be recorded in history of life. Amen. You have something to clap your hands and give God some praise for. My sister says millions didn't make it, but I'm going to say it like this. Millions in Steel County didn't make it. Did you hear me? So every time we walk into this church... Every time, amen, we open up our eyes, amen. Every time we get a negative test, amen, millions in still counting. But I was the one. I was one of the ones. That's right, Elder. I made it. I'm still making it right now. Amen. Many been cut off, amen. Many got close, amen, within arm's reach, amen, within breaths of 2022. But they didn't make it, amen. Mm -hmm. Men face less than what I face, less than what you face, but they did not make it, amen. Amen. Would you turn to your Bibles, amen, Genesis, the 37th chapter, the 3rd through the 11th verse, Genesis 37, amen. Don't go far, it's right when you open the Bible, the 37th chapter, 3rd through the 11th verse. For the sake of time, amen, I'm going to start reading. I promise you it's the word. Amen. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when he saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him, unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream and told it his brother. And they hated him, yet 
the more. And he said unto them, Here, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in a field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance, they bowed to my sheep. And his brethren said unto him, Shall not, shall thou indeed reign over us, or shall thou not, or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams. Somebody say for his dreams. For his dreams. And for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream. And told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him. But his father observed the saying. Would you go to chapter 41 for just a few verses? Chapter 41, verse 40. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. Hey, amen. I think I have one more verse. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried before him, bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Uh, can we pray just for a moment? Lord, send your word. Amen. Amen. Just for a minute on today, amen. God bless you, ushers. Amen. I want to speak to you from this topic. You might say I'm just a dreamer. I said, you might say I'm just a dreamer. On January 17th this year, we will be celebrating the MLK holiday in about nine days, excuse me, eight days. So we will be reminded of the life's work of Dr. Martin Luther King. It'll be all over the news. It'll be all over the TV. But it came to me and I wonder, and I want to ask this question, who in here, who, uh, amen, streaming, do you have a dream? I said, do you have a dream? Yeah, I know this year and this pandemic and this time, amen, has begun to wear on the people, amen. Amen. It's got us so short-sighted, amen, that we're just literally trying to survive. We're trying, amen, with every breath, amen. We're trying to mask. We're trying to clean hands and, and, and we're focused on what's happening in the news and, and what's going on, amen, in my family and who died now. And, who, and then we're becoming numb, amen, even to deaths now. Yep. Now we hear about somebody dying and we don't even miss a beat, yep. amen. We don't bat an eye. Okay, they did. Yep. And we go right on along. But, amen, I just wonder if anybody have a dream, amen. What is a dream? Dreams are a succession of images, thoughts, or emotions passing through the mind during sleep. Dreams are an involuntary, meaning you don't make it happen, per se. The dreamer is never in control of his or her dream. I'm going to say that again. The dreamer is never in control of his or her dream because you are unconscious. Dreams can inspire and create new thoughts in the mind. And believe it or not, uh, some people say they never dream. But, but dreams vary as per the individual and purpose, amen. And so it's determined everyone dreams every night. Now, 
I'm going to cut in right here and say that you may not, amen, know, you may not remember, amen. You may be so bombarded every day when you wake up that you don't remember or that you don't even have time to reflect on the sleep, amen. But you dream every night, amen. One theory says the purpose of dreams are to help you store important memories and things you've learned, amen. And listen, and to help you get rid of unimportant memories and sort through complicated thoughts and feelings. So dreams are really therapy, amen. Amen. Isn't God good, amen? He's built us when we won't go sit on somebody's couch, amen. There's nothing wrong with that, amen. When we won't go seek some help, amen. Because listen, if you think something is wrong with that, doctors need doctors. Lawyers need lawyers. Preachers need other preachers. So you, amen, when you've gotten so far, amen, amen, addicts need, amen, addiction specialists, amen. Amen. People in trouble with the law need lawyers, amen. You're going to need somebody, amen. Amen. Sit up here and act like you're an island all, all to yourself, amen. The Bible indicates that God, now, there are also biblical dreams. Now, we have our own dreams, amen, but then there are also biblical recorded dreams that the Bible indicates that God used dreams and visions to reveal his will, his plans, and to announce future events. Dreams even come to warn us. In Matthew 1 and 20, the angel appears to Joseph in a dream, tells him to fear not. A spouse married that she is to conceive of the Holy Ghost. Genesis 20, amen, the third chapter, Genesis 20 of chapter 3rd through the 7th verse, God came in a dream to prevent King Abimelech from defiling Abraham's wife, Sarah. Daniel, the second chapter, uh, uh, Daniel interpreted King Nebuchadnezzar's dream, amen. Amen. Didn't know anything. King Nebuchadnezzar said, I'm not going to tell you my dream. You're going to tell me what happened in my head. Or else I'm going to kill all of you all. And then you're going to give me the right interpretation of the dream. Uh, uh, but God allowed Daniel to do just that. Amen. God also uses dream to warn man. In Job 33, it's recorded that God, amen, amen, can't, comes in a dream and he will uh, come in a dream to withdraw man from his intent to sin. He will come in a dream to hide pride from man. Amen. To preserve his life and to give him divine enlightenment. Are you praying for me on this morning? And Daniel and Joseph both declared that interpreting dreams is God's business. Listen, don't open your dream interpretation up. You're opening yourself up for something, amen, that, amen, could possibly be very detrimental to you. Thank you so much. Amen. If that dream is contrary to scripture, amen, then that dream is not a God-sent dream. I'm going to say it again. If it's contrary to scripture, it's not a God-sent dream. God does not contradict his word, the Bible. Somebody say, I got his word. And he don't speak against his word. Amen. So in the text on today, Joseph, Joseph, we're introduced to Joseph. This is not the Joseph mar married to Mary. Amen. This is the Joseph of the Old Testament. That's the new. Amen. This is the Joseph. Amen. The son of Jacob. Amen. The 11th of 12 sons of Israel. Amen. God changed Jacob's name to Israel. Amen. So this is where we get the lineage of the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. From Jacob, from Israel's sons. Amen. And so Joseph was born when Israel was about 91 years old. And now we're at the point, amen, when Joseph is about 17 years old. And the Bible says that Israel loved Joseph more than all the other children. Although it's not right, it must not have been an issue until Joseph made a coat of many colors and gave it to his son. That's when the Bible says that's when his brothers hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Study reveals that the coat just was not a, a good looking coat. I took some time, amen, to dig into this, amen. And what that coat actually represented 
if it was a mark of honor. Yeah, I know you hear about favor, but let me just define it a little bit more. Worn only by the chief and by the heir. So what happened is Joseph inherited the birthright. Amen. And so rather than his eldest brother, Reuben, normally in Jewish uh, tradition and custom, the eldest brother, the birthright fell to him. But Reuben lost it when uh, he defiled the bed of his father, amen, and went into one, amen, of his concubines, amen. And so here we have Joseph being hated for something, amen, that really he had no control over. Something really, amen, that he did not do, amen. Amen. Just for what, amen, what was given to him. For what, amen, he had on. Amen, amen. Some, sometimes because you're a cordial person, amen. Because you know how to cooperate, amen. Because you have an easy to love personality. Amen. You know how to entreat others, amen. You serve well, amen, amen. And my favorite attribute, amen, one that, amen, I try to display, you genuinely cheer and celebrate others, amen, in their time of success, amen. You, you're glad about it when they're blessed, amen, amen. You're happy to see God anointing other people, amen. So I'm blessed when I see you blessed, amen. I can be sick, Amen, and I'm glad to see you healed, amen. Your sweet spirit, your winning personality, it begins to attract people, amen. It attracts favor, it attracts gifts and uh, invitations, amen. People want, amen, you in their presence, amen. And I just believe because of that, you're able to rest well. And you're able to dream sweet dreams. But then we have those, amen may have a little more seniority on the job, amen. Uh, may have been ordained or licensed a little longer than you have, amen. Amen. But, 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 amen, they seem to make salvation seem spooky. Seem dreary, amen. Amen. Always deep, amen. Stingy with the smile, amen. Stingy with the compliments, amen. Amen. Always preferring themselves over their brother, amen. So you repel favor, amen. You repel gifts, amen. You repel invitations, amen. Probably have nightmares, amen. Amen. So Joseph says, amen, one day I have a dream. And he tells his brothers that your sheets uh, uh, will make obedient, your sheets made obedience to or bow to my sheep. And the word says that they hated him more. Remember, we don't have control over our genes. God is in control. I'm just a passenger in the vehicle, amen, of my unconscious mind on a sightseeing trip. And he's showing me a glimpse of his glory. Amen. Anybody ever, amen, had a glimpse of God's glory for your life? Amen. It's just a sneak preview of the glory which is to come. So when it is that I share my hopes and dreams, and you become offended, amen, and can't speak peaceably to me, amen, for what happened in my head, amen. For some, amen, does not even happen yet, amen. Amen, just because I tell you I'm thinking about going back to school, and you say, why, because you're too old, amen. Or, or, or if I say I'm going to lose weight, well, well, uh, well, who are you trying to catch? Uh huh. Uh -huh. I see myself getting out of debt. I'm going to start bringing my lunch, amen. I'm going to stop, amen, buying designers this year, amen. I'm going to clip some coupons this year. I'm coming out. Oh, you cheat now. God's people, amen, stop letting things and stuff define you. Let me say it like this. Stop letting things that you do define you. Amen. Now, if God does it, amen, God does it, amen. But I'm not going to let that, amen, define me. And if it defines our friendship, then fine, amen, amen. The Bible says that Joseph has yet another dream that the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars, remember, he has 11 other brothers, amen. They're the tribe, amen, and then his father, amen, Jacob, amen. Jacob, he too was a dreamer, amen. He too wrestled with God and, and his name was changed and he was blessed, amen. 
But we're talking about jo Joseph on today. And he said that uh, the, the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And his brothers continued to do what they had done. Amen. They had something to say, amen. And the Bible says that Jacob, finally, his father finally in the 10th verse, rebukes Joseph after the second dream. And he does it this time right in front of his brothers. The study reveals that maybe he was doing that, amen, to uh, maybe ease some of the tension. But by now it's too late, amen. Amen. The brothers hate him, amen. Amen. And, and the Bible goes on to say that they have added envy to hatred. Now let's deal with this right here. Let's talk about this. Envy is a selfish, unfriendly, grudging, amen, of what another is enjoying. Envy is associated with bitterness. It's associated with strife and murder and malice. And Romans 20, 1 and 29 to 30 warns us that they know God's decree, right? But they don't have any problem, amen, displaying it. And not only that, they admonish when other people, amen, they lift up when other people display that same, amen, amen, attribute. Amen, amen. And so uh, as we go on down, it says 1 Corinthians 3 and 1, uh, 3, 1 through 3 says that your carnal response of envying and strife and divisions lets me know that you are still yet babes in Christ. So now I understand that when I talk about, amen, a dream that I have, amen, and when you, amen, become a little tense, amen, you get a little tight, amen, amen, you get a little uneasy, amen, you want to get off the conversation, amen, you start getting short, you can't talk, amen, to me peaceably, it lets me know that you are a babe in Christ. It literally hurts you to see others or hear others prospering. Paul goes on to say that, I planted Apollo's water, but God gives the increase. So, again, what, what's happening with me, I didn't do it. God did it, amen. Remember, God is in control. Can I just say something to the dreamer on this morning? Don't get caught up with who's caught up with you. Would you just look and say that through your mask? Say, don't get caught up with who's caught up with you. Come on, put them hands together right there. Let me say this. God is just has just interrupted today's regular scheduled programming with a special message that's about to mess up all everybody's low expectations, amen, of you. Amen. Everybody that has a small mind, amen. He's about to mess you up if you're short-sighted on today. Amen. If you're a false prophet, amen. Amen, amen. And though your family had plans for you, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you. Those thoughts that I think toward you, amen. Those thoughts of peace, amen. And not of evil. To give you an expected end. So go ahead and count me out. Go ahead and look down on me. God's got a plan, amen. I know that people may not see or appreciate your value right now, amen. Amen. Your worth, amen. They may be excluding you, amen, because they could be intimidated by you. But the plan I'm working, somebody say, it's a master plan. That's all it is. The master's in control. It's a master plan that's on my life right now. So the enemy's tactic, amen, sit down, sit down. So the enemy's tactic is to question your motives. To find out your next move, amen. And to discourage you and possibly get to work, amen, on your dream plan before you do. Imagine that. They want to star in the movie that's in your mind. They want to run ahead of you, amen, as though they could beat you to the punch, amen. Or even try to eliminate you altogether. Amen. And, and, and truth be told, amen, they may be plotting your very demise, amen. Your disgrace and your downfall, amen. But how many know that you are part of a master plan? And let me say this, as it pertains to your dreams, there is no competition with anybody. For the purpose, for the plan, that God has shown you in your dream. 
That's a role you were built for. That's a role you were born for. Amen. It was designed, amen, like that coat, that custom coat, amen, that Joseph made for his son, amen. It was made just for you, amen. Let me pause, amen. It must be noted that Joseph, amen, throughout all of this, Throughout the hatred, the envy, the questioning, amen, of, of why is he dreaming like this? Who does our little brother think he is, amen? Amen, amen. What has happened to him, amen? He's the errand boy. It's noted that Joseph offers no comments when his brothers question him, amen, the validity of his dreams, amen. And I want to say this right through here. Let me ask you this. Where are your dreams at? Where are your dreams at? Why, 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 why are you not talking about your dreams? Why is it so important for you to downgrade my dreams, amen? For, for, for the concern yourself with what God is doing with me. Amen. Where are your dreams at? Jacob sends Joseph to go check on his brothers. The brothers see Joseph coming toward them from afar. And they begin cooking up a plan. Listen, that's that envy at work. And they conspire to take his life. So what did they do? They stripped the clothes off him. They slung him in a pit. But the Bible says that they could not shed his blood. Amen. Thank God that they could not shed his blood. Say amen. amen. So I stopped by here to encourage, amen, just a few dreamers on today. That while God is preparing you to live the life of your dreams, he's going to have to strip you on today uh, of every weight, of every sin and false friendship, amen. He's going to have to strip you, amen, so that these things no longer distract you, amen. Uh, anything that could thwart your progress, he's going to strip you. And you know what? Whatever he strips, amen, you ain't going to miss it. Amen. You won't even desire it, amen. Uh, I, you can slide on in here, brother musician, amen. And whatever the Lord says about it, amen, as my mother say, it's going to be all right, amen. Unless it's stamped with God's approval, amen, you'll be able to say, I don't even want it, amen. The stripping process is a must, amen, if you're going to attain your very dream, amen. Amen. Because we realize that when you strip something down, amen, you take off all the years of wear and tear, amen. All the old pain and all the muck and the mire, amen, that's been, amen, amen, heaped upon you, amen. Only to reveal that most valuable inner beauty, amen. Amen. Are you praying for me on this point? And then next, amen, if you're going to attain your dream, amen. You're going to be slung down in some pits, amen. Yeah, you're going to have to survive, amen, that pit experience, amen. Some of you dreamers may have to endure some pitfalls of life. Teenage pregnancy, amen. Divorce, prison, amen. Foreclosure, bad career decisions, amen, amen. Sickness, anybody ever had to endure a little sickness, amen. Amen. Anybody had to endure just being poor, amen. Amen. Poor administration of your gifts, amen. And your talents, amen. But I won't admonish you on today, God's people. Don't become pitiful. I said don't become pitiful. Amen. But bless the Lord at all times. And his praise should continually be in your mouth. Let his praise continue to be all around you, amen. And see, don't you, amen, experience coming out the pit. Amen. The pit is where pride dies. And it's where you get comfortable in your very own skin, amen. Romans 8, and Romans 8 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, and then finally, man, what had happened to him? They sold him separately. Now, had they really realized, amen, amen, the value of who he was, amen, they would not have sold him for just 20 shekels, amen. 
but because they could only see with their natural eyes, amen. All they seen was a beat up little brother, amen. All they seen was a stripped down dirty old brother, amen. All they seen was somebody, amen, amen, that they didn't like what he was talking about. They could not receive, amen, that God was working in him, and amen. And if he's my brother, if he's working in me, he's working for all of us, amen. So, amen, God, amen, will suffer karma-minded people, amen, to count you out, amen. Amen, to see less, amen, amen. Amen. And, and so Joseph's true value was recognized by somebody, amen, who could reward him the way God had showed him in his dream. Amen. Let me cut through right here, amen. God allowed Pharaoh to see Joseph's true value, amen. He went on to become the second man, amen, in Egypt, amen. He became second in power. He received the word from the Lord, amen. Looks like you have, amen, amen, everything that God has finally, amen, intended for you to have. You have finally come to your starring role, amen, amen. And so you may say, I'm just a dreamer, amen, amen, but I'm the manifestation of the word of God, amen. I'm the manifestation of the hopes and dreams. These are the prayers that my mother prayed for me. These are the prayers, amen, that my father prayed for me. Amen. I came out the pit, amen. I didn't become pitiful, amen, because I had to suffer some things, Ella White. I didn't give up on God, amen, and turn around. That's why some of you miss what God has for you. Amen. You expect it on a bed of roses, amen. But if you can survive your night season, amen, if you can just go on through, amen, I believe sometimes Joseph had to just begin to daydream, amen. He had to block some people out, amen. Amen. And I asked God, I said, Lord, amen, how could he survive all of that stuff? How, 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 how? God said he just kept saying, I'm just a dreamer, amen. He said folks just kept calling him a dreamer, but he said, I'm an overcomer, amen. I won't give up on God. I'm not just a dreamer, amen. I will chase, amen, amen. I will choose to believe the report of the Lord, amen. Amen, amen. He was confident in this one thing. That he which began a good work in me will perform it, amen. God is going to complete that thing, amen. Say to yourself, this is going to be my year. I said, this is going to be my year. Amen. We got a song that says, I'm going to live to see it happen, amen. But I'm going to say it like this. I declare that I'm a dream tonight, amen. That I'm a dream this week, amen. I'm a dream this month and this year. And so I'm gonna dream to see it happen, amen. Say that with me. Say, I'm gonna dream to see it happen, amen. Wake up, dreamer, amen, amen. Your life is waiting on you, amen. You can no longer stay asleep, amen. Because somebody don't approve, amen, of what's going on with you. But wake up, dreamer. And go chase your dreams, amen. It's morning time in the life of the dreamer. Amen. Won't you stand on this morning? It's morning time in the life of a dreamer. Go after your dreams with all you got. I don't care your age, amen. I don't care how much you've been counted out, amen. Stop counting yourself out. That dream was between you and the Lord. Tell yourself, say, it's between me and the Lord. If you don't have control over your dream, I can't make you dream. But you have to believe that God is a rewarder. Amen. Of them that seek him, seek God and he will reward you. Won't you give God a hand praise? I'm not going to ask you to come to the altar on this morning. But I am going to ask you, amen, to close your eyes right now. And see yourself, amen, being all God wants you to be. See yourself going to new heights and new levels, amen. 
See yourself coming out. Amen. You may have gotten a diagnosis, but see yourself walking on. Amen. Through that diagnosis. Paul was afflicted. Amen. But he yet, amen, carried out the work of God. See yourself, amen, finishing and completing all that God, amen, has for you. Can you see that dream? Can you see that vision? That thing that you've been steadily ignoring, amen. The paper you wrote your dream out on. That you set to the side, amen. And you no longer look at, amen. I want you to run and go back and get that paper, amen, when you go home. I want you to believe God yet again. The Bible says that now unto him, amen, who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above. That's who we serve. We serve a God who's able to go higher, amen, to go higher, amen. Your dream, amen, is just a snapshot of what God wants to do. Say, Lord, I believe that you are a rewarder that you are, amen, a keeper of your word, and you have not shown it, amen, amen, and you have not told it, amen, amen, and you will watch over your word, amen, to perform your word in my life, oh God. Say, I believe God. Now, I want to ask you, whose report will you believe? I said, whose report will you believe? I choose to believe. Choose to believe the report of the Lord. Love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services.